Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Crimson Panda here. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Marvel Snap. Now, before we get into any deck spotlight videos, I wanted to do an ultimate beginner's guide to help all of you guys out that haven't played the game yet, to give you all the information you need about the game, so you have the best possible start when the game goes live. So that's going to include everything from how to upgrade and obtain new cards for your collection, all of the different reward tracks there are, also the different types of missions you'll have to play through and of course the two currencies that are currently in the game and what to purchase with those. And then to finish the video off I'm going to do a step by step walkthrough of how to play the game and go through all of the different components there are on the board. So sit back, enjoy, drop this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it and if this is at all enjoyable or helpful for you, then please, I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video in the future. So let's head over and check out Marvel Snap. Okay, so this is the main hub for Marvel Snap. So as you can see, it is June 2022 and our season pass is the Atlantis Beach Club. So that is this month's current season. There will be a rotating season every single month and there will be specific stuff to do during that season in order to unlock unique rewards now the very first thing that people want to know about marvel snap is how do you collect and upgrade new cards so the way you do that is you come down here to your collection and then as you can see here we have some glowing characters so if you was to click on one of these characters it will allow you to upgrade them so the way you upgrade these cards is just by playing with them so it's not like any other ccg where you would open booster packs to obtain new cards you actually have to play with a card in order to upgrade it and collect more cards so as you can see here i can upgrade this card to an epic and it's going to give me plus four collection level now what that collection level is is that is what's going to unlock new cards for you and it obviously costs a thing called boosters so the little 20 just there in the right hand corner at the bottom that is how many boosters you need to upgrade this card and then you also need credits in order to pay for that card's upgrade um, credits is one of the main features uh, one of the main currencies in the game and we'll go through that a little bit more later so in order to upgrade this card i need to play this card in my deck and then at the end of each match i will get a random drop of boosters for a card in my deck now decks only have 12 cards so you've got a one in 12 chance to get something that you kind of want so if you're playing cards like nova here and i wanted to upgrade this i've got a one in 12 chance to actually get some drops for nova so i can upgrade this now the plus side to upgrading it is your collection level so let's head over and check out the collection level so as you can see here it's 253 so when you go through your collection level you will receive a mystery card for every time you upgrade a card and you can see the little tabs here so i'm going to get four collection level for nova which means i'm going to get to this mystery card section and when you get this mystery card it is completely random for everybody that is playing so you won't get the same card as other people obviously you will some people but it is completely random every single time you get to this mystery card um, and then you also earn credits and boosters through this collection level as well um, at the start of the game everybody has the exact same cards they can get until you can start getting mysteries so i'll scroll right to the bottom a moment so as you can see here we have these ones here jessica jones all the way up to odin so when you hit that first credit bit that is when it starts going to mysteries so my very first reveal was angel but that was a complete mystery it will be different for you and then as you can see you only need two collection level down at this area in order to get new cards so it's a very simple very fast way to obtain new cards and it's completely random for everybody so if you want to build a specific deck you need to kind of get a little bit lucky with what drops you're going to be getting here now the next question people always ask is how do i get credits in order to upgrade these cards so there's a couple of ways in the game to get credits and the main one i hear is up in the top right corner we have missions so if you go onto missions here we have daily missions first of all and then we have season pass missions as well so the daily missions are basically they refresh every single day and they're nine times out of ten easier than most of the other ones so as you can see here we have daily missions here which is play one cost cards draw cards etc and then we have hard ones as well which is win a location over 20 power play three cost cards stuff that's fairly simple just playing the game in order for you to obviously 
get your credits. So you get credits here and you also get XP for your season pass. Um, if you look at your season pass missions, all you get here, now these are harder ones. So you've got to be playing six cost cards, win all three locations in a match, force your opponent to retreat, stuff like that. And this is going to give you XP, which is another form of getting credits on your seasonal reward track. So we'll head over to the season pass. So here we have the season pass. Now this, you can pay to unlock the premium features, but the premium features do not include that much credit. So if you're just after credit to upgrade cards, then you're gonna be able to get those on the free track. So don't feel pressured into buying anything. Um, the one positive to unlocking the premium content is you will receive the new card of that month straight away. Whereas if you're on the free track, you'll have to wait until the season ends and then it will become available in the random generated um, mystery card pool when you level up your collection level. So the new card this month is Wave, which is on reveal next turn. Cards in your hand, in both players' hands cost four. So a nice little mana manipulation there, or energy, I should say. Um, so as you can see here, you work through your raw track and then once you level up at the top, you will then unlock all of your free items which is nine times out of 10 credits, boosters, or a little bit of gold as well, which is the other type of currency in the game. So we'll go over and check out the currencies. So we have two types of currencies. We have credits and we have gold. So you can see that in the top corner. So we have 125 credits and 100 gold at the minute. So credits is your primary, the only primary way of using that is to upgrade your cards. So as you can see here, you can do fast upgrades where you spend a little bit more credits to upgrade cards that you haven't necessarily played with as much or if you wanted to get something really strong now once you upgrade a card you can do it as many times as you want it will go to legendary after this this is an epic card with the purple um, border so the cosmetic of the card changes completely you can actually wiggle it around and it moves as well which is awesome um, and yeah once you hit legendary and then it goes to infinite the card will split off into a copy of the card with a special cosmetic which you can then upgrade from the start again so it's going to cost you a little bit at the start and then as you go up the rarity upgrading it gives you more collection level and it's obviously a lot more expensive to upgrade so this originally would be 300 but because it's in the fast pool it's 390 so you have to pay a little bit more just because you haven't been playing with it so that is how you spend your credits in the game other ways is you have credits here you can spend bars on credits so you get a free one each a uh, couple of hours each 14 hours you will be able to get 50 credits for free which is cool um, and then yeah you can use your gold bars to buy credits you can either use real money to buy gold bars and then the other way of spending your gold is here the special offers which are variants of cards you already have so these are basically if you want to start upgrading a new card or if you like a new card art then you can buy these variants and run these in the deck instead of the original copy and then you will start upgrading this card that will go to infinite that will split off and then it's just an endless cycle to get your collection level up so that is where and how you spend all your currency in the game at the moment so the next thing to note is all of the reward tracks so there are so many reward tracks so there's from your collection level reward track where you get credits boosters cards and even variants later down the line um, you also have a season pass reward track which you obviously as you level up your season pass there will be free items to claim there you also have a ranked season pass as well so every single month this is going to start from uh, obviously rank one so each game you win you're playing for a thing called cosmic cubes the more cosmic cubes you get the higher up your level and the faster you're going to climb on the ranked ladder and then you get card backs credits boosters more credits more boosters you get avatar skins and right at the end you get gold and obviously the infinite will give you the that themes avatar skin for that month so there is a lot to do in marvel snap there's a lot of fun playing as well so um that's kind of all the fundamentals on the home screen now what's left is just gameplay so let's head over and i'll show you everything you need to know about how to play the game and all of the mechanics in it as well okay for the purpose of this video i'm going to keep my layout quite simple so you can see the whole phone um, it might be a little bit harder to see. I will be changing the format once I do deck spotlights But for this video, I'm going to just be keeping it like this so you can see Everything that's going on on the right hand side. So as you can see here We do have cosmic cubes at the top there 
and that is basically what we are going to be playing for so the cosmic cubes are the you can get up to eight cosmic cubes in a game but you are officially taking them away from your opponent so if you playing for eight and you lose you will lose eight cubes and they will gain eight cubes so bear that in mind retreating is not an issue so we're going to start our first turn here so we have one energy as you can see and cards can't be played over at the space throne so i'm going to put that one in the middle there so at the bottom you gain one energy every single turn and there's only six turns in the game so it's a very short game it only takes up to three minutes to play and um as you can see there the uh the sewer system has kind of i put the the card into a location that wasn't revealed and it's punished me now because i lose one minus one power there so i'm actually on zero even though i've played a card there now the idea on how to win this game is by winning two out of the three locations and um in order to do that you need to have more power there which is the stuff in the top right hand corner is your power and um that is how you're going to win the game so i can't really do anything here unless i want to commit my carnage now which i don't so i'm just going to end turn on two so these uh locations reveal as the time goes on so the first one i'll see you've seen reveal on turn one and then turn two sewer um the sewer revealed and then on turn three we now have stark tower so at the end of your turn five give all cards here plus two power so i know it's quite hard to see but this is just to show you the layout of the things so we do have a retreat button in the bottom left hand corner if you feel you're going to lose at any point then don't feel bad if you want to retreat because retreating allows you to basically take only one cube loss instead of the possible eight if you're going to lose and the game goes fully so um there's no shame in retreating it's actually a very good tactical button so that you don't lose too many cubes and you can actually progress on the ladder a lot more so that that is kind of it as the game goes on obviously these cards obviously have abilities so this one here for example armor ongoing cards at this location cannot be destroyed so there's a lot of ways to manipulate how you're going to be playing this game and there's over 60 locations so you're never going to have the same game twice because even if you're running the same deck and you're trying to do the same thing each location is so unique so you do have to bear that in mind so what we're going to do here is I am going to Carnage. I'm not going to armor there. I'm going to armor over here and then I'm going to Carnage the middle maybe. No, I'm not going to Carnage yet. I'm just going to put armor over there. And yeah, he goes for Namor. So Namor gets plus five power when he's the only card in that location. So because that would go to 10, but because he's in the sewer system, he loses one in that location. So we are currently winning on the right and the left. I think we're going to lose the space throne um to be honest i thought that was a different location <laughs> it's uh only one card could be played here we wouldn't have played the squirrel in that case um we would have obviously played the apocalypse but um never mind so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to dump a lot of stuff here so i'm kind of thinking dumping the sword master in the middle and blade and hoping that it misses our carnage um and we'll go for a big apocalypse finish so we go Swordmaster and Blade. These are going to discard two cards in our hand. So we're definitely going to hit one that we want. Okay, so we hit the Carnage, unfortunately. But we do hit the Wolverine, which he comes back with his Resurrection ability. And he goes over into Stark Tower. Okay, so we're pretty confident we have the same amount of power. Oh, no, we have less power now in stark tower so the idea here is to try and win that location he is going to play a card to the left now so unless he plays two cards so you can actually tap the character to see how many cards they have in their hand so he has three cards in his hand i need to play apocalypse somewhere where i'm going to win but i kind of feel like i am going to lose two locations here i'm going to lose sewer system if he plays anything with more than two power and i'm going to lose the space throne if he plays anything over there with two power so I'm already losing on the right hand side and even though I know he can't get any more power in that location I can't really play anything there in order to bump me over that 18 that he has got in order to um, to win there um, and if I do commit there I'm going to lose to the other two for sure so I feel like this is definitely a retreat game so if I retreat now I'm only going to lose one cosmic cube which is fine instead of losing the two that he has snapped me for 
so you can obviously if you think you're going to win snap your opponent that is going to give you double stack of cubes so the maximum like i said is eight so if you feel 100 confident and you're going to win make sure you hit the snap button by tapping on that cube and then that is going to put the game into a lot bigger stakes and then you're going to take away eight cubes which will help you obviously progress up the ladder a lot faster so once you click collect rewards as you can see armor i lose my one cube so my rank 14 eight cubes goes down to 17 uh, to seven and my armor i get some boosters for him so that i can upgrade if i wanted to but i don't have enough credits to do that so that is it for marvel snap i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel um we do have a different layout a more zoomed in one for the gameplay feature itself i just wanted to show you guys the layout of the phone so that you didn't miss anything that you were looking at on the screen um but yeah this game is super fun ben and the team at second dinner have done a great job i hope you guys can play it soon and i will see you in the game and in the next video